I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome back as we continue to go through the library of the Dice Tower shelf by shelf. Today we're taking a look at shelf five. Uh, and we're taking a look at shelf C and D here. And we're taking a look at two shelves because the first five games I'm showing you here are essentially the same game. The Temple of Elemental Evil, Wrath of Ashardlan, Legend of Drist, The Dungeon of the Mad Mage, and Tomb of Annihilation. And actually, there are six games here because Castle Ravenloft is in one of the games. I think it's in Wrath of Ashardlan, uh, mostly because I got rid of the box for that game a long time ago. Uh, I don't I, I used to combine all these games. I don't know if I'm going to keep all of them in the library. They're all the exact same game. They're all really good. The Dungeons and Dragons board games. Uh, I, I have a good time playing cooperatively, but they are five of the same game. Just different scenarios, different bad guys, different good guys, and things like that. So I, I, I like having them all, and I know there's another one on its way. Uh, I don't know. It's a it's a tough it's a tough choice, but space may may force the issue. If we move along the shelf, though, we see Assault of the Giants, which is a very different game from uh, from the uh, folks at Whiz Kids. Even though it says Dungeons and Dragons on it, Assault of the Giants. Each person is leading a clan of giants, different giants from the small quote unquote hill giants to the very huge frost giants and things like that. It's or storm giants, I think, are the biggest ones. It's fun. It's it's really an interesting game. There's little heroes, human heroes, going around attacking the giants. I like this one a lot. Next, with Xeno Shift. Now, this here, I believe, is both Xeno Shifts. There are two of them put together. This is a deck building game which really has not got a lot of love. It's basically Starship Troopers, where you're a bunch of people. Uh, you know, Marines defending from waves and waves of aliens. It's very, very cooperative. Uh, you really need to work together and help each other, and I really like this one. This one kind of flew under the radar. Hasn't got a lot of love, but it's a fun deck-building game. Massive Darkness. Now, this is the first one as of me recording this. Massive Darkness 2 is not out yet, although I think it's coming out really soon. This Dungeon Crawl is a game that I've seen but not really played. So I don't know a lot about it. It definitely has people who love it and those who don't. Next to that, we have The Godfather, this game from Eric Lang, which really feels like it belongs in this shelf because if we go up a couple shelves here, we see Blood Rage and Rising Sun. The Godfather feels like it fits there, like it should be because it's kind of in that same not universe, but it has that same kind of feeling as you're fighting around area control, mafia, um, hiding, laundering money. It's a really cool game that I enjoy. Doesn't have a lot to do with the Godfather. It's mostly Mafia, though. Then we're taking a look at the shelf below it here also. We have Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea. There's two boxes for this. I believe the game is basically split between the two boxes. This is here mostly because Roy is his favorite game, and he loves showing it off to people at conventions, but it is a good game. I enjoy it myself, and so this one's fun to pull out and play. Then we got a trio of smaller games. A lot of people don't know much about these games from the Fantasy Flight Silver Line. First, we have Disc Wars. Disc Wars is, this is the Warhammer Disc Wars. Disc Wars was actually a much older game. It has a couple expansions in it. You just take a faction and you have these discs and you flip the discs over, and over to move them. It's really unique. It did not do well at all. The game failed almost as soon as it came out the gate, but I always found it interesting. It's like a miniatures games, but you're using discs instead of minis. Next to that's Bloodborne, Blood Bowl Team Manager, which is a really good game. I really like Blood Bowl Team Manager. It's uh, kind of a big rock, paper, scissors type thing where you're, you're slowly building a little team, going up against other players, trying to send the right players out. You're playing through a whole season. Uh, Blood Bowl for me is okay, but this game, which is very different, I enjoy. It's like being a manager. And then Cave Troll, which is one of the first games I got in this series, but has kind of faded for me over the years. But I know some people enjoy it, and that's why it's in the library. Then we just got three more games left here. The humongous one there, Cthulhu Wars. Of course, Cthulhu Wars is a game a lot of people really enjoy. I like it. Um, it's definitely humongous with giant Cthulhu miniatures, but it has a good feel to it. It's not just a cash grab, which is what I initially thought it was, but a really good, solid game. If you want to play uh, a dudes in a map game, but with Cthulhu, I guess uh, 
uh, squids on a map is what you'd call that. This is it. Below that's Fire and Axe, a Viking saga. That is as closer to a Euro game than anything else. I actually very much dislike Fire and Axe, but I know a lot of people do enjoy it. A strong Viking-themed game where you're going around looting and trading. Uh, it's got a lot of love over the years, and so I fully expect that some people will play this one. And then we have the Mystic Veil Conclave, which doesn't really fit with the rest of the games on this shelf, um, but it does... It does stand out to some degree because it's a big box. This is Mystic Veil, vale, a deck building game that also has cards that have clear backgrounds and things. And so it's mostly on the shelf because of box size. But as you can see, the, 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 the theme of all these different games is kind of attacking each other. Mystic Veil's vale not quite there, but eh, whatever. Anyhow, those are the games on shelves 5, C, and D. My favorite of these, that is a tough call here. I don't know, but I think, I think I'm going to say Godfather. Although I really do like this Dungeons and Dragons series. Well, what's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Either way, until next time, this has been another couple shelves in the Dice Tower Library. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you later.